What is up everyone, I'm Atron the Gamer, and in this video I'm going to show everyone a spot that you can farm a rare really easily, it's really fast, all you need is the quest Blood and Sand, and you just need to select the Begin Quest portions, once you've done that, click OK and start the game. Once you're in the game, you're going to want to go up to Zoltan Cool and pick up the quest, you can press Escape to skip that dialogue, and then just go to the Dalgor Oasis, where you should have Leah following you by now. When Zoltan Cool spawns, you can press Spacebar to skip that dialogue as well. And from here you're going to want to head as far east as you possibly can. Your specific game layout may not look like this, but it seems to me that a general rule of thumb that you can apply to finding the ancient waterways is heading as far east as you can and then heading north from there. So we're going to do that right now. And hopefully we come across the ancient waterway. TP to make it a little bit faster. I'm more concerned with getting there right now than actually killing any of this stuff. This stuff is actually pretty worthless anyway. I'm gonna go around this camp. So you may find it faster than this. You may, it may take about this long. It's just gonna have to depend on what your game is like when it was created. I'm pretty sure it's right up here. And here it is. These are the mobs that we're looking to be farming, and I have my teleport up, so I'm actually just going to go past these mobs. The and Zoltan Cool should spawn, you can press space to skip that dialogue. And I'm actually going to TP out right now because I want to clear up that crap, plus get full health, as I aggroed a bunch of mobs before I brought him up to the rare and his minions. So I'm going to leave the game here, and resume the game. And because I got that checkpoint, I'm going to be right here in the ancient waterway. So this makes for some really fast and efficient farming, as the rare and his minions should be right outside once we go out into the Algar Oasis, and they'll be here every single time, so this is really fast. I'm going to start killing him right now. And there's a nice little trick that you can pull off with Leah. Basically, these guys, as you can see, that, that was that lightning, a circle of lightning that they cast around themselves, and they channel it over time, and you can have Leah sit in it, and she will basically allow them to well it's basically they won't move they will they will continue to cast it because they actually think that they're hitting something but really it's just Leah so that re that works out in your favor quite well as you can see the rare is continuously channeling it there there right now but Leah just moved so he stopped channeling it need more arcane power but if i position Leah correctly and properly sh this rare should actually continue to cast it so if I, get, if I bring him close enough to Leah and he decides to cast it around her, this will work out for me. But it looks like he's been a little stingy on where he wants to cast it. So it's not a, a foolproof trick that you can pull off every single time, but it is something that you can attempt to do to make your life easier. Okay, I think power. he's actually... Gonna, nope, Leah decided to move. So she screwed it up. Damn it, Leah. Screwing up my game. It's not that hard to kill. Okay, there we go. Leave standing there again. I'm actually going to get closer to her. Okay, so this is how it's actually supposed to work. Where Leah can stand there. And I, as you can see, I'm not getting hit by anything. I'm able to just launch bombs at this guy all day. All day, every day. I need arcane power. And he's basically getting rolled. He doesn't really have a choice anyway. It was inevitable. So once you've killed the rare... And you collect your loot. I probably could have put MF gear on to kill him. I would suggest doing that actually, but didn't do it just because I'm doing this video. Just want to TP out. And leave the game, as I did already. And resume the game, and you should be in the ancient waterway once again. So you can continue to farm him. And I really feel like this is kind of ironic. He says, you will not enter the aqueducts, but I just came from there. But that is going to do it for this video, everyone. So I hope you all enjoyed and had something to gain from watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to me on my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter, at AtronTheGamer. If you like this video, please click the like button. And I hope to see everyone next time for more Diablo 3. Until that time, I am Atron the Gamer. Later, everyone.